Hey guys, and welcome back to another Friday New Product Post. My name is Chris, and we have a few new products today, so let's jump on in and find out what we've got. First up this week, we have the new Open Segment Shield. We released this a little bit earlier this week, but it got a pretty major revision, so we decided to talk about it in this new product post. What you may notice about this is that it's pretty much the same exact board. It still has the Atmega 328, same board layout. Pretty much nothing has changed, except if you may notice, it doesn't have the seven segment display on it anymore. What we were able to figure out was that there's a lot of different options in terms of colors for seven segment display. So we wanted to give that option to you instead of pre-soldering on a seven segment and you're stuck with the red, you're stuck with the yellow, you're stuck with the blue, whatever. Now, when you buy this, you'll actually be able to choose your own color. And instead of having us force the, force the color on you, you get to choose. Next up, we have two new USB logic analyzers from Sele. We have the Logic 4 and the Logic Pro 8. We have Nick here to be able to talk about them a little bit more in depth. You may remember Salier as the designers and producers of this very excellent USB logic analyzer. Well, they've stepped up their game recently and come out with two new models of their logic analyzer, the Logic 4 and the Logic Pro 8. And while these have the same sturdy construction and really beautiful design as the last model, the specs are even more impressive. The Logic 4 is sort of the base model for these. It has one multi-use probe and three digital-only probes. It has a maximum digital sample rate of 12 mega samples per second, which means that the fastest digital signal you're going to be able to acquire is 3 megahertz. Uh, as far as analog, the sample rate there is 6 mega samples per second, uh, so that's a bandwidth of 600 kilohertz. Uh, with the Pro 8, on the other hand, you get eight lines, all of which are multi-use probes, uh, and you get a sample rate of 500 mega samples per second. So that's a significant advantage over the base model, the Logic 4. That means you can acquire a digital signal up to 100 megahertz, and that also means that your uh, analog sample rate is much higher, 50 mega samples per second with a bandwidth of 5 megahertz. So this is actually a very capable um, logic analyzer. Uh, part of what makes that possible, the high sample rates on this, is the fact that it runs on a USB 3.0. So it actually speaks to your computer at a faster rate than the older models were able to. So it doesn't have to have quite as much internal uh, memory cache, so it can actually sample at a much higher rate. Of course, both of these come with all of the probes that you need. Uh, the Logic 4 comes with the set of four. Logic 8 comes with two sets of four, as well as IC hooks, so you can connect them to your project and uh, analyze the logic signals. Uh, there is also a USB cable in each of the kits. The Logic 4 comes with just a micro B cable, and then this one comes with the new USB 3.0 cable that fits that new goofy looking USB connector. Lastly today, we have the Hako FX901 portable soldering iron. Now, we already have a portable soldering iron, but it actually uses butane as a power source. This guy actually uses four AA size batteries. This does come with a B type tip and it can be easily replaced with any other T11 type tip that you want, whether you need a wedge, a cone like this, or anything else that may suit your needs. Each type of battery does have its own pros and cons to it. The alkaline type battery has a temperature of about 932 degrees Fahrenheit, but only lasts for about 60 minutes. The nickel metal hydride lasts for about 120 minutes, but only gives you a temperature of about 532 degrees Fahrenheit. So you can go ahead and make a decision for yourself on what type to use. So if you're looking for a portable and practical soldering iron, the FX901 is your choice. These are all the products that we have for the video today, but we have plenty more in the post below. Rob will be back next week with his beautiful beard, and we'll see you then.